This was vintage. I wasn't sure how old this was, but it was made in USA. It's thin, but it's not single stitch. So I don't know if this is a reprint. Actually, it is. It actually is a single stitch. I didn't notice that. I thought I saw two on it. That's funny. Check that out. What does it say? It says, Call of the Wild. So he's going to the outhouse because he's got to take a dump. Okay, what's going on everybody? It's Rock from Flip the Thrift. Welcome back to my channel. If you have not subscribed yet to my channel, make sure you guys subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, like the video, watch it in its entirety if you can, if you will, if you may, if you must. Um, so yeah, don't forget to hit the notification bell also to get notified when I post another video. So we're going to get started right away with the video. We're going to see what I found because I did go to a, I did go to several places today. Um, I really wasn't expecting on sourcing today. I actually kind of wanted to admit, come in early and ship all my items um, because yesterday I didn't ship them. Don't, follow, don't lead by my example. So I have 40 items to ship now because I let them pile up for two days. So, which isn't bad, 20, 20 items a day. Um, but don't do that. What I'm going to do is I see that I'm strapped for time a lot because I have a family, I have kids excuse me, and I just ate, which was not a good idea to eat before I film my video because now I'm going to be burping all over the camera. Blech. So anyway, <clears throat> we're going to get right into the video. Like I said, I did go to, a, go to several places today and I did get some grab bags, some rag bags. Um, I think we're going to go through the stuff that's on top of what I have and then the rag bags will save for last. So let's get started. All right, so the last one I went to, um, the lady must have passed away, and I think it was probably her daughter, um, some type of relative or whatever that was um, getting rid of the stuff. Um, I, don't, I really didn't want to say it like that, but um, selling the stuff, I guess you could say, so to speak. So I picked up this bag. I did look it up. Um, the name of the bag, the name of the bag is Brauk. It's Brauk and Company, B R O. UK. It's actually not a bad looking bag. Um, it's a canvas. I figured I'd grab it because it is a tote. Um, the only one that did sit well, not the only one, because I only I looked it up in tote. I looked it up in one area, then I looked it up in another area. It's really nice, has a gold zipper, but anyway, just whatever, just a tote, just your basic tote. But it is brand new with tags, still has the plastic around the handle. So um, yeah, we'll go ahead and get that listed and see what happens. All right, so this was one area that I like to go to. There's an older man and an um, a older couple, a woman and a. Does this come out or what? I don't understand why there's yeah, because it just kind of made it wrinkled. I don't think that this was used. The plastic around it seems really tight, so I don't know. I I'm gonna have to take an extra look at these. Way to start your video, Rock. Um. Okay, just being real, guys. So this one is Civil War, yes and no. They're actually different colors. Read publication. So maybe I'll sell them both together. Invisible Ink Quiz and Game Book. This is Okay, so this is book one and book two. Now I see that. So there's two books. I'm going to sell them together. Um, like I said, I don't know what they're worth. They were really cheap. Um, they were $1.25, so I paid $2.50 for both of them. Hopefully, I can get a decent amount for them. I don't, like I said, I don't know. I don't really like to gamble with stuff like that, but I did anyway. So I've seen this sitting there. This is a place where I can't scan anything, where I don't get any service. Um, so this is a quick change transformer system. This is basically, um, people would like to say it's bootleg transformers. Um, sometimes the, sometimes the after, like the, the all the off brand or whatever, the bootleg brands sell really well. And I see these selling for like 30, 50, um, not, not the same exact one, but maybe there isn't one like this, but, um, yeah, it's just supposed to be like a fake transformer or whatever. But I figured for two bucks, I'll take a chance on it. And cause it's brand new sealed. If there'd have been a bunch of these, we'd have been, we'd have been good to go, but, um, I can probably get about 25 for that. So we'll see. And this was another area. I did get some peanut brittle. I love peanut brittle, but 
really sugary and just hard to chew. I, like hard candy. I'm, I don't know. My teeth can't, can't handle that anymore. So I did. There was a lot of um, heavy metal. There was some. They just weren't really worth anything. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to grab all of the Aussies. There's one, two, three, four, five. And then there's this Vinnie Vincent Invasion. I don't know Vinnie Vincent. I don't know if he is um, played for Kiss. I, I can't. I can't pinpoint it. Like, there's the. You guys know who that is? Leave a comment down below. That'd be cool for me to know. I, I don't remember. I know that it said somebody in the title. I think it might have been Kiss or something in the title. Maybe it was one of the one of the. Vinnie Vin He looks familiar. This guy up here looks familiar. He looks like he. Was in a, in a, I, I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, these are all Aussie. I'm going to sell these all together. They're all in really good condition. This one's in really good condition. This one actually sells for like $20 to $25. So not bad. Um, I think I paid two a piece. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve bucks for all of them, which is a little high. I don't really like to pay more than like 50 cents to a dollar for a CD. I only paid up because they're all Aussie and they're all in good shape. And I know I could probably get two, four, six, eight. So. So there's ten, duh. There's ten dollars um, spent already, and then the shipping shouldn't be too bad. Should be like maybe four dollars. So there's fourteen already invested because these are media mail. Um, I'm hoping is that one new? No, that one's not. This one's not new. No, but um, it still has all the. This one actually came from the wall, so you know whatever. They used to sell CDs a lot in the wall and FYE and places that nobody goes to anymore. Well, some people do probably. But um, so this was from another area. This stuff is going to be just kind of cluster. It's going to be a cluster you know what. Um, this one was $3. We got another Michael, Michael Daltrey. Is that what that says? I thought this was Michael Daltrey. I don't know. So I don't know what this one is worth. It's a pretty big size. It's a Chase Authentic. It's on a large tag, double-sided. I don't know what year it's from. I was trying to figure out the year, and I'm having a hard time doing so. It's assembled in Mexico. It's not made in USA. I couldn't find a year on it anywhere. I was looking. First win, 2001. All right, so there is the, there's the year right there. So this is vintage. This is 20 years old. It's in really good shape. Not too bad. Seems to be all right. I don't see any stains on it. So, um, they the guy said that this was a clean out. Um, he does clean outs all the time. He said that this guy was a big racing, um, big racing fan. He had a lot of racing stuff. So I don't know why I bought this one. I might just include this one. This one's actually Dale Earnhardt. I don't know. It says it's what's inside that counts. So this is like an Oreo cookie type of advertisement, double sided. This is a children's shirt. I probably should have left it, but whatever. This was vintage. I wasn't sure how old this was, but it was made in USA. It's thin, but it's not single stitch. So I don't know if this is a reprint. Actually, it is. It actually is a single stitch. I didn't notice that. I thought I saw two on it. That's funny. Check that out. What does it say? It says, Call of the Wild. So he's going to the outhouse because he's got to take a dump, you know. Hey, Nate, when, when duty calls. Okay, so we got vans off the wall. This was um, this was at the house sale. Um, I got a couple things there. I spent a total of twenty dollars. I got this vans off the wall hat. It's got like the the fox leather brim, and I I think that this is a wool blend. I was looking at it and I didn't see wool. Lane, yeah. So there, it's forty percent wool. It says Lana, but we all know Lana means wool. 40% wool, 29, is that what that says? I don't know. It's definitely not leather. It says other fabric, crown, polyurethane, I don't know. So this is not, it's definitely not real leather, but it is a new error, Vans. So I'm looking at probably like $20 for that. Maybe a little bit more. Um, It could be a retired one. It's a size 7. It will not fit me. I'm not a big skateboard van. I, I used to skateboard when I was a kid, but... I don't know. I just don't. I don't collect stuff like that. So I'll probably pass it on to the next person. And let them buy it. All right. So I think that this lady was a big QVC 
fan. A lot of the stuff that she had was QVC, and um, it was like with like Bristol or whatever that is. I, I don't can't really remember the brands, but this is cool. It actually has some loose fabric that I didn't notice. Hmm. If I can pull that through, I'm gonna pull it through. Yeah, I'm gonna probably end up tying that. Okay, so those are actually supposed to hang down, but. Alright, so that's obviously going to have to go on that side. I think what I'm going to have to do is, I'm going to have to figure that out and tie that somehow. Um, it's not made very, this is, this is a, um, Cheryl Crow. I'm, I'm guessing maybe she had something on, on QVC. Maybe she was selling her clothing, I don't know. Maybe she's broke, trying to make money, who knows. But um, this is just a cool, this is a motorcycle jacket. They call it a moto jacket. Um, it looks like it zips straight up. It doesn't look like it's astrometrical. Um, where's the zipper? Uh-oh. There it is. I was going to say, don't be missing the zipper. Then we won't get nothing for it. I paid up for this. I paid $10 for it. So I'm hoping that I'll get a decent amount. So it is, it is a moto jacket. Pretty cool, new with tags. It's not asymmetrical, which means that it's not sideways. It's a straight up zipper. Um, if that's how you pronounce that, I don't know. Um, but like I said, there is a loose, there's loose fabric right there. You can see it hanging off. See it with his tail. Um, I'm gonna have to fix that. I might have to tie it or something. That's probably what I'm gonna end up doing. I'm gonna have to fix it, but it's just not real leather. It's just made really cheap. So um, I'll probably end up selling it for 30. And just just to move it, just to get rid of it, because like I said, it's just not worth that much. What else did I get there? Oh, I got this. I got this categories. This is actually worth about $35. This is the refill. The game was there from 1988, but I just didn't want to deal with the whole game. Um, this is smaller, it's easier to store, so I just left the game there. I don't care if the game is worth 30, 40. I that doesn't even matter to me. It's I still want to make money, but I don't want to store these big items. And I don't want to ship them. That's the biggest thing. This will be very simple to ship. It's a little, little dusty. I'll clean the dirt off it and we'll be good to go. So I'm going to put it over here because it's a little dirty. I got to clean that off. But, um, so let's see what we got here. This may be a little bit longer than what I want it to be. So what was this stuff? This was actually, I don't even know what I did today, guys. I'm just like all over the place. I think this is stuff I picked up. Did I pick this up today or yesterday? I think I picked this up yesterday. <clears throat> Maybe today. I did go to a thrift store today. I went to Abundant Blessings. All right, so this is a Pendleton. It's still got the dry cleaning on it. It is a... You can't see the size because the dry cleaning tag is covering it up. If I could remove that, I'm going to remove it. I'm going to take it off. So... Yeah, because it's covering the size. It is a size large. Um, it is all wool, pure virgin wool, 100%, um, made in USA, so it's definitely vintage. It's got the blue tag. It's just a pretty cool, like, like a quarter zip. I'm guessing that this is probably a men's. It's kind of like a shirt. Call it a shirt jacket. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that that's a men's. And then I was like, you know what, I'm going to grab this. This is actually something that I would want to wear, but it's a little too lightweight for right now, but it is polo. Well, it would be nicer if it had the bear on it, maybe. I might just give this to one of my boys, or um, I don't think they're going to wear this. It looks really short. It's, for, it's a large, but it was brand new. It doesn't have the tag, but it does have the sticker. It does have the large sticker. It is, it's definitely new, but it is pretty cool. I would imagine for something like this with the hood and the, and the big embroidery, I could probably get about $30 for that. So maybe a little bit more. This was on the quarter rack. Tommy Bahama. Um, it's definitely going to sell now. I'm not going to ask a ton for it. It is an extra large. I think you can pull the tag off it, and I think it's reversible because the zipper does kind of go. It's just a plain Tommy Bahama. It's not really worth a whole ton. It's got some stripe on the sleeves. 
I think it is reversible, but I think you have to rip the tag off of it in order for it to be, because otherwise you're going to see the tag, unless it covers with the collar. I think you can cover it up with the collar. What if you want to pop your collar? Ever since I could remember, I was popping my collar, popping, popping my collar. All right, so I got this at um, the one shop where I used to have my stuff. I seen a random game just like sitting in no in the middle of nowhere. Um, it's in perfect condition. I know it's not worth a ton. I think it's like a fifteen dollar game. Um, I could be wrong. I don't know. I know I know it's a really good game, but it was only two bucks, and it's in really good shape. The game's in like perfect condition. And then there was a bunch of wrestlers. I think she gave me the one for free and the one for a dollar. And I said, no, I'll just give you a dollar for, I don't know if that's Rey Mysterio or if that's the other one. I think that might be the other one. Um, he's missing his hand and his other one's kind of chewed off. So we got him. I don't know. What is it? I don't know who that is. I can't remember his name. I don't know. I know that this is Brock. That's Brock Lesnar. He's the one that was an MMA fighter. Was or is or one, I, I don't know. I don't remember his name either. I, see, I don't know the newer wrestlers. I know the old ones. I know that's Undertaker. So he might be worth a couple bucks. I might just sell them all together. But they were all a dollar a piece. So we got one, two, one, two, three, five of them. So whatever. All right. And then I think I've sold these before. I think it was a buck or two dollars for all of them. This is like a turkey... Um, ham set or whatever. I think you just kind of just um, It has the wooden like the deer antler handle or whatever I don't think they're made out of actual wood. I think they're just plastic, but these are in better condition than I usually find them I don't know if this one is missing this piece right here I don't know if this one is supposed to have that piece on the end, but um probably I'll probably charge shipping for these, which is going to be more than a pound. I'll go in a box. I'll wrap them up really good. Um, I don't know how sharp the knife is, but I think I got a decent amount for just like a fork and a, a fork and a knife. I don't remember. It was so long ago. I don't even remember what. I don't remember what it was. I forget the name of the brand. I think it's made in England. So, all right, here we are, guys. Let's get to it. Let's move this stuff over here. That's going to be trash. That can go over there. We'll get that hat done today. And here's the receipt. Spent $14 in that one. I think I spent like less than $20 everywhere I went. But a total today of probably like 80 bucks. A little more than what I wanted to spend. All right. So I've seen this marble. Really cool. Just has the, it has like kind of like a McDonald's color look. But it's a T-snap. Um, there's the marble. It's an extra large. I don't know if it has marble on the sleeve anywhere. No, it doesn't. But, ooh. The pocket looks a little rough. Is it ripped? I don't know if it's ripped or not. No, I think that... It, smell, it smells like cigarettes, too. I'm going to spray it with Febreze. If that doesn't work, I'll probably... Um, I'll probably take it home and just wash it. But um, I don't know what this one is worth. But, you know, it doesn't have the marble symbol on it anywhere. I'm going to put it over there. I don't want to put it near any anything else. I don't want anything else smelling like smoke. It's a big bag that I can go over there. I saved the big bags. I saved for my trash bags. Recycle your bags, you know. Why not? All right, so here's another bag. That was trash. So we're going to get into... We're going to get into the rag bags now. I got four bags. I asked if they had any more. They didn't have any more. This was it. So, let's see what we got. We're almost 20 minutes into the video. Let's try to get this get this done as quickly as possible. Alright, I don't see anything colorful. I don't see anything that's making me excited. Oh, I don't know. What do we got here? Well, this is cool. Billabong. It says Ramwe. Is this old or what? It says Billabong Tour 1973. Well, that might have a little bit of value to it. It's not old. It's it's just a re a remake. If it was from 1973, 
we'd be good to go, but it's definitely not. You can tell by the material and the tag. It's made in China. Yeah, so we'll see. The tag's kind of coming off, so that's that's a maybe. And we have some more rags. I don't know if I want to save any more of these rags. It's a possibility because I might need them. I know they're, they're already clean, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to be cleaning things with them. So maybe I'll just save them. That way I know I'll, I won't run out, you know, and I won't have to go out and buy shop rags. I'll have plenty of them. We'll put them over there. Uh, these look old. These are softy. They're a size small. These are just regular. They're just shorts. No value there. What's this? Everlast junk. No value there. Should just be stuffing these right back into a bag. There's a an MTV t-shirt, no value there. Junk. This one has some stains on it. No. Gildan, no value. Junky V-neck. Here's another, another pair of just vintage shorts, but nothing special about them. This is missing the tag. That's just a junky women's shirt. Junk. So far, nothing. Long John top, don't need it. I got enough of that crap. And we have BAC, 24 seven fitness, no thanks. There's another one, there's an Everlast, large, it's like a cutoff. It's actually kinda, it's got potential, but I don't think I wanna deal with it. It's made in USA. I think this is old. Okay, it's a nice V-neck, made in USA. It's not a single stitch. I don't know if Everlast is made in USA, so we're gonna look this up. It's a, it's a belly top too, so that might have a little bit of potential. That I don't want, don't need that. All right, next bag, first one was a flop, no good. Let's see, try the next one. So, you know. The last one, I didn't really, there wasn't really that much in them either. Maybe they've caught on to me. Maybe they're like, hmm, why does he want all the rag bags? What is he doing with those? Maybe, is he miss? are we missing something? I don't know. Jamaica 2020, he must increase, but something that's, no, no good. Homes, garage, door, company, no. Nope, 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 nope. What do we got here? We got Summer Vibes, Del Grasso's Park. Nope. Oh, oh. Huh. Rehoboth. Think that'll fit me? Nah. I don't think so. Uh, Foundry, junk. Uh, Mitsubishi, electric, diamond, Bryant heating and cooling. MGM mechanical, nope. Junk. What do we got here? This one is Stay Wild, Greenwood Furnace, State Park. Nope. Junk. I don't know, guys. So far, no good. Ask me how to Casasa. Now, nah, this is local. There's my bank. Probably shouldn't have said that online. Nope. Doesn't matter. If you rob me, you'd just be practicing. Here's another one. Same thing. Yeah, people think that just because a lot of us resellers are loaded. I got bills like everybody else, you know. We, not all of us are loaded. You know, not all of us have a successful YouTube channel either. Hint. Hint, hint. Come on, subscribers. Come on. I'm waiting. I am waiting. All right, we got two more. Probably this one. I see some tie dye, but it's new tie dye. Junk. It's junk. All right, there's another bag. Trash. All right, we got mossy oak. Pink. It's too big for my daughter. I'd give it to her. That's a women's, but it's a large. Too big. Uh, I think this is Senators. No, what is this? Oh, Yingling Racing. That's cool. That I can sell. 
Extra log, cotton made in Haiti. Yeah. If there's no stains on that, then I can I can definitely sell that. I could probably get about 15 for that. Maybe. Something like that. We'll see. Public service. Nope, that's Pennsylvania. Something, something. Don't know. Here's a Nautica. What size is that? 2XL. Nope. Don't want it. It had something on the back, but who cares? New Nautica, it's not worth anything. Some of the new Polo is okay. Just my size? Nope. Uh, nope. Nope. Crappy tie-dye. Nope. Foster? Nope. And I gotta get rid of all this stuff, too. T-shirt, blank. What's that? It says Eclipse Strong. Nope. Junk. Another one. Elmcroft Carrying Essential. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. What do we got here? Sneaky Pete's Bar, Ocean City, Maryland. Sounds interesting, but nope. It's got a cool shark on the back, but... Nope. So far, guys, nothing. This one doesn't look very good either. So, what did we get out of it? Like, nothing, really. So, well, I'm glad we didn't pay that much. I only paid $4, so... I think I see a decent one in here. Alright, guys, we're almost done the video. We kept it under a half hour. So, I'll try. Right, this is all trash. Throw that there, I'll get it. What's this one? I see something here. It's Dirks Bentley. Yeah, just a 2007 tour. So that's something. At least that's probably worth a few bucks. You know, probably enough to get our money back. Baby pants. No. Children's shirt, women's shirt, don't know. Another children's shirt. Uh, yeah, a little baby stretchy. Nope. All right, what do we got here? Nothing blank. The champion. It's an older champion, but the champion tag's missing, and it's got a bleach stain on it, so no. I'll pass on it. Not worth it. If it was a really, really old champion, then maybe. Nope, that's junk. What do we got here? What is that? This is cool. Here's another racing shirt. Delaware Lance Dewey's. Okay, so I did all right with, with one of his last t-shirts. Um, I think I sold one and I still have one left. This one's a little wrinkled, but yeah, hey, what's that? These are just pajamas. They look old. They're not. The Wonderful World of Disney. What size are these? I don't see a size on them. Maybe it's like one pair in reverse. No, I don't know. They're big. What do they got? They're Bambi. Is that what that is? They're Bambis. So, I don't know who they would fit. I might be able to give these away to somebody at home. Take them home and wash them. One of the kids can have them. Take those home, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. What do we got here? Just a button down. Croft and Borrow. Garbage. So, guys, I don't know. Oh, there's one there. That one looks a little old. That one's junk. What do we have here? Uh-oh. Nope. No, it says play it loud. I thought it was old. It looks old. It looks like somebody wore it out, but that's about it. Uh-oh. What's this one? It's on an old tag. It says property of <clears throat> Raystone, Raystone Lake, Department of Leisure. It's got footprints on it. No. It says cotton. Print embroidery, Glen, Florida, something. Made in USA, I mean. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Probably not. It's just not any, I don't know. It has footprints on it and stuff. It's pretty cool. We'll look it up. That's it, guys. That's all we got. That's all she wrote. Um, Receipt. Get that away. You don't want to leave them laying around. Um, so, not too good. Definitely done better. 
I've seen better. But um, anyway, $4. Didn't really invest anything in it. I can sell one shirt, get my money back, haul it a day, whatever. Um, so with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. Hit the notification bell to get notified when I post another video. Thanks again. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.